Hello everyone. The topic of the presentation is Sustainable Development Evolution of the Concept. It is a part of the Ability Enhancement Course as part of CBCS syllabus and this is an initiative of the Geological Society of Assam to reach out to the student community. Learning Outcomes after completion of this presentation, you will be able to define the term sustainable development. You will know the background of the concept of sustainable development, how the concept has emerged and the way forward. Why the concept of sustainable development? Human activities over the last decades has led to climate change and natural disasters. Through their actions, humans have negatively impacted on the environment even endangering the survival of the earth and the future generation. So now what is sustainability? Sustainability is the ability to exist constantly. That is improvement of lifestyle and well-being as well as preserving the natural resources and the ecosystem. The concept of sustainable development first emerged in 1972 in Stockholm Conference on the Human Environment and it was the first UN conference on environmental issues and it defined the relationship that exists between man and his environment. The conference proclaims that man is both the creature and the molder of his environment. That is, man is a part of the environment and he has the power to mold or transform the environment through his activities. Then in 1980, in the World Conservation Strategy, it was argued that for development to be sustainable, it should support conservation rather than hinder it. In 1987, World Commission on Environment and Development, the term sustainable development was coined. The conference was headed by Norwegian Prime Minister Gro Hartlem Brutlin and it presented the famous report, Our Common Future. The document, popularly known as the Brutlin Report, states, Sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. And this is the most frequently quoted definition of sustainable development. It was proposed the adoption of 22 legal uh, principles that was divided into four groups and highlighted three fundamental components of sustainable development, the environment, the economy and the society. Another important conference was UN Conference on Environment and Development, popularly known as the Art Summit, held in 1992 Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Here the famous Agenda 21, which is considered as the blueprint to rethink economic growth, to advance social equity and to ensure environmental protection was signed by 178 countries. Agenda 21 addresses the problem from now to the 21st century and seek cooperation at the local, national and international level to achieve sustainable development. In the Millennium Summit 2000, eight Millennium Development Goals were introduced in the Millennium Declaration, which were to be achieved by 2015. Then in the World Summit on Sustainable Development 2002, Johannesburg, South Africa, again, the full implementation of Agenda 21 were strongly affirmed. Moreover, it set out new commitments which were necessary to achieve sustainable development. In 2012, that is 20 years after the Rio Art Summit, the world leaders met at the Rio Plus 20, wherein the document The Future We Want containing the global sustainability agenda for the coming decade was adopted. Then in the Conference of Parties and the Paris Agreement on Sustainable Development 2015, it was agreed upon a sustainable, low-carbon future. Apart from the various conferences and summits held at different times, to foster values and principle for a sustainable future, the R Charter was adopted. So it is a document with 16 principles powering a global movement. It offers a vision of hope and a call to action. In 2015, the world leaders from 193 countries came together and developed the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The 2030 Agenda is a plan of action for people, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership with 17 Sustainable Development Goals to transform our world. 
The goals and targets are universal. That is, they apply to all the countries of the world. For any clarification or suggestions, you can reach out to me at my email. Thank you.